I think when we we talked about some of your great players. Now, obviously, Jonathan played. I think Jonathan. I think Jo played eleven or twelve years. He retired a Raven. Yep. Ray played seventeen years. All seventeen in Baltimore. Ed Reed. How difficult is it a decision when you're dealing with a historically a transcendent player? And obviously, you want all your transcendent players to retire Ravens. How difficult was it to like? We can't go that extra step for uh, Ed Reed or Suggs. How do how do you how do you make that decision? How do you and John Harbor and your staff sit down and say, guys, we've gone as far as we can go, and this is it. Well, uh, let's start with uh, once a raven, always a raven. Okay, yes. we'll start with that. But you know what? We, you know what? As in anything in life, you understand that there's a limit in how far you can go. And right. then, but do, do you fudge it a little bit? Yeah. But when you have to look at the totality of what you're trying to do and build a football team, then you can only go so far. So at some point, and I've always said this, and I said it to you when you went back to Denver. I want you to make all the money you can make. Yeah, this what you is told all, me. all I can pay you. You know, if you got a chance to go make some more, go somewhere, please go. But this is all I can do. Right. You know, and I want you to do. And you know what? And we still can hug and shake hands because I appreciate what you've done. But, you know, you only have so many years that you can make this type of money. Right. And you need to go ahead and make it if you can. And if you can't, I'm welcome you back. You, you, you're still part of the family. And that was the thing that I remember most because I remember having the conversation that year, the Super Bowl was in, in, in New Orleans. And I remember having the conversation and you asked me what I, you know, you asked me what I was going to do. And I asked, and I asked you, I said, what do you think? I, you're like, hell boy, you went to the Pro Bowl. You had, you led the tight ends and catches. You can still play, but let's have a conversation in a couple of weeks. And you know, we'll, we'll see where we go. And I was like, you, you call me, you asked me what I want to do. I say, I wanted to play. And you say, you said, uh, uh, boy, now this is all I can pay you. Now we're going to release you. Now go, hey. You get you get some money. You're gonna get more than what we can offer you. But if you don't find out what you like, come back. We can do something. And I think that's the thing that everybody loves most about you, Ozzy, because you're honest, you're upfront with them, and you tell them how it is. It ain't no, well, Ozzy said this and then somebody else said that. Whatever you say, take that to the bank. Well, you know, that's relationship building because I know that I'm gonna see players five years from then, 10 years from now, and I want them to be able to respect me like I respected them. And Correct. I can want to show them the appreciation for what they did when they were a member of the Ravens. You, Jimmy Smith credit you and said that the off the field problem that he has, he said you were one of the main reasons that helped him turn his life, his career around. I, I mean, you, you talked about, said sometimes you just have the conversation, you take your hat off, they take their hat off, this man to man. I'm not your boss. You're not a player. I'm a man to a man, talking to a man, trying to help resolve an issue. But you know what? But within that, I got to tell you some things that you may not want to hear. Okay. Or tell you some things that you need to change, you know, and, and, you know, Jimmy just did an extension with us today. Correct. You know, for another year, you know, and he, he has, he's a raven now, you know, and, and so, but, you know, there's some, there's some tough conversations. Hey, you, you need to change you know, or we gonna have to change. And you know, but I know you, I've known you since, you know, you were 21 years old and we, you know, went through the whole recruiting and drafting process. Right. You know, I know what's deep down inside of you and you can change, you know, and when they change, then they become more valuable in that locker room because now they can tell their stories to those young kids also. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay where we always do something before two something.